thank you for clicking on this video. If you saw by the title, it is going to be an unboxing of the Elegoo Saturn IV. And I actually recently got this in the mail from Elegoo. But I do have four other printers that I have purchased myself through Elegoo that I absolutely love. I will give you my honest opinion and I do have a lot to compare to. I have had the Elegoo Saturn, Mars, Jupiter. Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune. And I definitely live for them all. My first resin printer was a Elegoo Mars and I learned my way around a resin printer through that. I am really loving the upgrades that come with the printer, so I'm excited to see how it is. But mainly, I want to test today the differences between the Saturn II and the Saturn IV. How different it is, is it worth it, should you make the upgrade? When this came in the mail yesterday, I got a call from the UPS driver. I ran out that door because I did not want to miss him and I didn't want to get the one of those like stickies that saying, oh, you have to drive to this location to pick it up. I did not want to wait. So I'm happy I caught him. He helped me bring it up and now I'm going to unbox it. Usually I have this thing where I like throw the the filling of the printer, but like it's like 10 o'clock right now and I got neighbors. A few moments later. This is some good stuff. So we get our little manual, got our plug. Breaking the sweat. Oh my god, they're sisters. They're sisters. Don't they look good together? Oh my god, I need help. I need help. What did I do? I have so many printers. So I can confidently say that I love the fact that they upgraded to the uh, swing outdoor versus taking off the whole cap. I do recognize this from Farm Labs printers, and it's definitely advantageous because this cover i've tried so hard to keep it clean and it still has fingerprints and resin on it so i'm hoping this is a great step up and i can kind of eliminate those pesky fingerprints it's the little things in life first off i really like the design that they implemented on the build plate this is the first time I'm seeing it, and yes, it is going to get scratched up anyway, but it is really nice. It is really, really nice. Okay. Wow. We got our accessory pack. So in here, it looks like we have our power block. And we need that. The infamous USB stick. Some tools and knobs. A pair of gloves. Some filters, we need these. Masks. I need a new scraper. This scraper is like, I... Nine day, I tell you. I'll keep this one clean, I promise. The printer itself looks very, very sleek. And the ease of use for the lid is good. It won't just snap shut on you. If you just want to open it at like the halfway mark, it will stay. One thing that would have been nice is like an actual handle. I feel like it's kind of difficult to kind of find the bottom of it. You kind of have to come through the sides. Some handle would be nice to eliminate actually touching the plastic and leaving a bunch of fingerprints on it. But um, overall, it's not too difficult to lift up and down. I can see that they incorporated a lever on the top. I did read that this doesn't require leveling and that was probably one of the best features because to be completely honest, I have to level the Saturn II every single time that I use it just to ensure a successful print. It's definitely not required, but I find that when I'm prying off a print, it does tend to shift a little bit. No matter how hard I tighten the bolt, it does shift a little bit. It really looks like this one is going to hold up. It is very sturdy, very dense, not too heavy, but it's like 
dense. You can tell that it's a lot heavier than the Saturn II. So I suspect that um, there won't be any leveling issues. Fingers crossed. So the light source is a Cobb light source, COB. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but it is still a wavelength of 405 nanometer. Ready to use? Right out of the box. Like what? I almost don't believe it. We're gonna have to test this because I don't believe it. We get a little tab here. This is a nice printer. Got a couple settings in there. Tools. So there's manual tank cleaning, calibration, device self-test. Print. Oh, okay. Let's insert our USB stick. So we have a printing test and then we have our slicing software on there. So we're going to do the printing test because I feel like it's only the best thing to do. It is the best thing to do because we just want to make sure everything's working perfectly fine before we go ahead and start printing our own thing. I have like 10 minutes before I have to jet off to work. So I'm going to make this super quick and try to say as much as possible. Uh, so please excuse the print going on in the background. Firstly, I'm printing this massive mandala. I wanted to print something that maxed out the build plate and I wanted to see how it would turn out and it's about like, I don't know, 12 inches long. So it's, it's pretty long. I just wanted to jump on here and just give a quick update on the Elegoo Saturn 4 because I've been using it during the past week since I've gotten it and it has not let me down at all. It has been reliable fast, very low maintenance in terms of the actual print cycle. You literally just slice it, send it to print, and then you wake up and it's done. So if you're looking for something where you can kind of not worry about the print, ensure that, you know, it's going. Even I left it on when I went to work. I came back, the print was done, and it feels so good when, you know, you're doing other things in the background, but then when you come back, print is finished so love the open flap door but a handle would have been amazing whenever I take the build plate off it does tend to leak no matter which way I turn it no matter how long I wait for it to drip down since it's kind of double layered whenever I take it off and move it it will cause a big mess in terms of mess and resin printing like you can't get away from a mess like you're gonna get the smell you're gonna get the mess and um during the last week when I've been posting on social media on my Instagram, a lot of people say that, you know, it's the smell. But to be honest, when this is working, there is somewhat of a smell, but I do use a fan and I do use an air purifier. And um, I haven't had much issues with this um, machine, per se, uh, in comparison to the big machines, such as the Jupiter. That one, since it's a larger concentration of resin, it is quite smelly. But I could say that I definitely recommend looking at the Saturn IV or the Saturn IV Ultra if you're looking to upgrade or even get your first printer. Honestly, I wish I had this printer when I first started just because it's taking all the challenges away from leveling and just giving you all the best parts of resin printing. I just suggest if you're new to resin printing and you're looking to start, get the whole kit. Don't try to cheap out on like a wash and cure station. I think those two are really important for the success of a resin print. Invest in that if you plan on committing and getting a resin printer. And I do have a video on the Mercury wash and cure bundle. I still have it to this day. It's been, I don't know, maybe like a year or two and it's working perfectly fine. So I did do a couple of projects. I printed a prototype for my candle that I'm going to be making. And this printed very beautifully. Um, I am short on alcohol, so I didn't do a proper clean, unfortunately, but it is looking really beautiful nonetheless. Secondly, I made a Elegoo bar, which I call it, Elegoo bar, or a Elegoo chocolate. Uh, just because, just like a little thank you um, for you know, allowing me to try this printer. It's been making me so happy to be able to test it out and give the review to you guys. Um, so I thought that was a cool, fun, quick little project I could do. I just mocked up the uh, Elegant Chocolate Bar in Fusion 360, got the logo from Google Images and just, you know, converted that to SVG and uh, extruded it. It was so simple and easy. 
And then after I just thermoformed it and poured some chocolate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a feel if you want to get this printer or if you even want to start resin printing. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out on my Instagram or my website is coming out soon. I'm going to be starting a blog where I talk about, you know, all of the challenges and tips and tricks for 3D printing because there is quite a bit when you're starting this, everything goes wrong. So uh, looking forward to starting that up. And now I've got to run. So uh, love you guys and I'll see you guys soon.